Hello scooter hacking fans and friends on YouTube. Welcome to another video. A few minutes ago I read on the Telegram update bot that there is a new future and I want to check it out with you. So let's dive into it directly. I will just quickly read everything and then we can talk about it and I can show you. So new update, rollback to stock available. A bot now supports returning your Ninebot scooter to stock firmware using the new rollback command. And you can press on rollback here, it's highlighted blue. The process is the same as creating an unlock file. And I will show it in a few seconds. No rate limits apply when generating rollback files. And I'm pretty sure that it's it doesn't need limits because it is not connecting to the Segway servers for this. And it works only if your scooter was first unlocked using our bot. So if you have Xyodash and you want to create some files and so it will not work. And important notice, while rollback is possible, going back to stock firmware and using the official Ninebot app should be avoided unless absolutely necessary. Doing so carries the risk that your scooter could be forcefully and permanently restricted by the manufacturer with no way back. And yeah, that's why I will not update it and connect it, especially not connect it afterwards to the Segway servers. But yeah, it's something you should know. And before per uh, performing a rollback, always make sure your scooter serial number has been restored to its original value and I will show you how you can do it. Use this future carefully and only when you truly need it. Remember, third-party apps already give you stock like uh, firmware without restrictions to flash back onto your scooter. Happy riding! So yeah, let me quickly discuss. So you can actually use the Scooter Hacking Utility app and update your scooter to the latest firmware. And you can see it here on my scooter. I had now three new firmwares found MCU, VCU, and Bluetooth. And I tried it with a Segway app and it did not work. And then I just updated the MCU to the latest firmware, the 1.5.0, using the Scoot Hacking Utility app, and the VCU to the 1.5.13, also using the Scooter Hacking Utility app and afterwards I connected again to the Segway app and only the BLE update showed up and then I was able to update the BLE with the official Segway app but I just cut the connection and aborted the update in the few, first few seconds yeah, I just wanted to test out and find out if we can actually update BLE when we have VCU and MCU flashed. Yeah, you can see I have only one firmware and when I try to update it, it actually works. It started, you know, so transferring the files and then I just cut the connection, turned off Bluetooth and then I had an error. But yeah, that was not the problem. Maybe you shouldn't cut it later i cut it as soon as possible so i wouldn't recommend you to try it out like this and i would recommend all of you to create the files it cannot harm you know to have them in case the bot fails at some point so you have still the stock firmware files that you can flash with the scoot hacking utility later and if you really want to revert back you do not have to forget that you have to change the region by going to tools, change region. And for mine, I had to select custom, for example, and change the fourth letter to A. So it's back to the European version. And this serial number, you can see it on your scooter. You can also see it on the packaging. So I think that you will find it. And once you change it, then you can go up higher to hardware details and copy UIDs and afterwards we can go to the telegram bot and type in rollback the command and if you are lazy you can also if you see this message go upwards and press on the rollback and do not have to type it in and then you can select your scooter 
in my case it would be the G3 and then I can paste in the UIDs that I copied previously and the files will be created and in a few seconds you should get the stock firmware files MCU stock zip and VCU stock zip and usually I download them two times each of them because sometimes it's down it's downloading them but they are not showing up these files so I just download them two times. After downloading, you can go back to the Scoot Hacking Utility, the Flash tab, load from repo, and then select the files. So for example, I selected first the VCU, and it says Stock VCU. Then we can press Start Flash, and it's important to keep it as zip file. And for me, as you can see here, it worked without problems, but I aborted it. Because I do not need the stock firmware. I'm waiting for a Scoot hacking utility. And I also tried it with the stock MCU and pressed also on start flash. And yeah, I saw that it is also starting and then I cancelled it again. So now you know that this is possible. Really great. And I would recommend you to do this. And just keep the files. Because we never know. Maybe at some point the Telegram bot will not work for some reason. And it's better to have the files and then you can use it and revert if you need to with the Scoot Hacking Utility app. And my recommendation is just to create the files but keep it like it is and avoid the Segway app. And just wait for SH firmware, so Scoot Hacking firmware. And once a Scoot Hacking firmware releases, I will upload a video where I flash my scooter and adjust it and I will put it in the scooter hacking playlist where there are a lot of good videos you can check them out too and also make sure to check out the video description I have all the links that are important in the video description I also ordered the 850 watt motor so the US motor for my scooter and want to compare it to this one to the stock one with 700 watts so there are two different motors and it will arrive in a few weeks so make sure to subscribe so you do not miss that video and yeah thank you for watching guys as soon as scoot hacking utility releases the sh firmware i will flash it and also make a video and I also want to thank all the subscribers, the channel members, so the friends and best friends, and all of you who are supporting me. Thank you.